Hey guys, we are back with another Abershire Gaming video, and in today's video, we are going to be going over my Warlock and his setup for the Crucible. So, I'm usually running the Sunsinger subclass. For the Grenade, I'm running the Firebolt Grenade, and we'll get to, into more about that in just a sec. I'm using the Focus Burst, because this allows you to go faster, and I like that. And Fireborn, because you get to revive yourself once you have your super without anyone needing to revive you, which is pretty nice. And you can use that in like strategic ways in activities such as Trials of Osiris to clutch some rounds. I'm using Flame Shield because this is just an overall like really good pick for PvE and PvP because when you melee someone with your like melee charge up, then you get an overshield, which is just insanely good. So you'll win almost all melee fights in the Crucible. I'm using um, the like stat perks that give me the most speed and recovery because that's just what I prefer. That's kind of a preference thing. But here is the main part of the subclass, which is these two perks combined with firebolt grenades. So pretty much what this allows you to do is with the firebolt grenade, it will lit light enemies on fire. And with this one, it makes them burn longer and take more damage. So pretty much with one of these grenades tagging someone it'll do about like three-fourths of their health so that's insanely good in my opinion and it'll like burn people out if they've got any damage on them pretty much before you hit them and it'll also be a really good thing for like priming people so let's get into my guns for my main primary i use last word but sometimes i use mita multi-tool which is a really good sky rifle and it also allows me to go faster which I really like on my warlock. I usually use this sniper right here. It's the thousand yard stare from the quest and it's really good. And when I'm shotgunning, which is usually with my Mida, I use this conspiracy theory which is also from like the Nightfall quest I think it was. Um, I use this vertigo. maxed out blast radius and velocity pretty much and proximity detonation for the ghost this ghost has got intellect discipline it's pretty much the only reason and uh, so for this helmet this is the trials of osiris helmet it's a really good helmet and it's also got this angel of mercy perk which i think is really um when you revive people it gives you just a little bit of extra super energy, which is really nice because you just get your super slightly faster than other people. These gloves are from the Raid King's Fall Hard Mode. Um, they're really good because they have intellect discipline and they have grenade throw distance, which is good for that firebolt grenade that I was talking about. And they have sniper rifle reload, which is really nice because I like sniping and this lets me get back into action faster. For my chest plate, I almost always use the Void Fang Vestments because although it is mainly for the Void Walker, which gives you Axion Bolt Seeker, um, it also gives you full grenade energy when you spawn, which is really like helpful for these fire bolts because especially in Trials of Osiris, every single time I spawn, I spawn with full grenade energy, so I get another grenade every single round. And I have full discipline, so I get a lot of those grenades, which is really, really nice. And for the boots, I have the Winged Sun Boots, which is also from the Trials of Osiris. These have Intellect Discipline. They only have Fusion Rifle Ammo, which is kind of bad. But they have Last Hope, which I really like, because when I'm last man standing on my team, I get big agility buffs, which is really nice, because I can, like, outrun my opponents and either, like, get in better position to kill them or run around for the revives and bring the round back which is really nice especially in trials of osiris and for my bond i just have the one from the raid it's got 319 light and intellect discipline that's why i use it and same thing for this it's from the raid intellect discipline 320 so that is my setup for my warlock I hope you guys enjoyed, and maybe for some of the new players out there, it might help you guys get a setup and what gear you might want to obtain. So thank you for watching, 
and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.